All right. Now, uh, 20 turns, a uh, rectangular coil with size 6 cm times 4 cm is placed vertically in a uniform horizontal uh, magnetic field of magnitude 1 Tesla. If the current flows in the coil is 5 ampere, determine the torque acting on the coil. And the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the field, parallel to the field, 60 degree to the field. Uh, so you can see this plane is at different orientation to the field. Uh, so we want to find here, he asked us to find the, find what? Find the torque. So we need to find the torque. Uh, okay. He give us the turns. Okay. Use. Okay, it, it, it gives us a turns. Uh, it's a rectangular coil. It's a rectangular coil. So that means uh, here the sides. Uh, here you can find area because it's like length times width. You get the area. And he said this is a uniform horizontal magnetic field. Uh, this is the B. So I have written down the, you know, I've drawn the horizontal magnetic field. Yeah, I see my view is horizontal. See, my view is horizontal. Uh, here also give us a current. Current. Ah, uh, here's a keyword. Plane. Uh, the plane. Here's the key. Uh, plane is perpendicular to the field. Ah, uh, so this is the plane. Uh. Remember, this is the very important. Okay, I already write down the information here. The turns, the area. Okay, let's find out the area first. Huh? What is, uh, okay, from CM, from CM, I change to meter already. Change to meter, divide by 100. So what's the area? Area is 2.4, exponent negative 3. Okay, settle. This one, area, settle. And then I have the magnetic field, current, uh, and then we need to find torque. Okay, first of all, uh, to find the torque, yeah, let us um, let us remember uh, the formula. Uh, torque. Torque for a coil is N I A cross B. Uh, N I A cross B. Uh, a cross B. Yeah. So it's uh, also same thing. Yeah. B as behind. Yeah. B behind always. Now remember the sequence. Uh, actually, B is not behind. B is a magnetic field. Okay. Uh, so you see, uh, A cross B. Uh, so the angle theta, uh, the angle theta must be between these two. Yeah? Must be between A and B. Then, uh, the angle theta must be between A and B. Now, one very important thing is this area. This area is not the plane. Uh, this, this area, this area is not the plane. It's not the plane. But it's the normal to the plane. Direction of the area. Direction of the area is not the plane. It's not the plane itself. But it is the normal line. The normal to the plane. Okay? Just remember. Direction of area is the normal. That's it. So, what is the angle theta? Angle theta is between normal and magnetic field. Uh, yeah? Between the normal and magnetic field. Okay? Let me show you some examples uh, to be more clearer. So, we have a B, I, N, A, sine theta. Theta is the angle between normal and magnetic field. Now, let me show you, yeah? Uh, this is the plane, the plane of the coil, uh, perpendicular to the field. Yeah, field is uh, this B lah, uh, B yeah. So the plane now perpendicular to the field. So for question A, the plane. Uh, this is the plane. Yeah, the plane. Uh, I look the plane at the side way. You know, at the side of the plane. I didn't really look at the plane itself, but I look uh, from the side. This is actually the plane. This the and this is the blue line is the horizontal magnetic field. Okay, so what is the angle theta? What is the angle theta? 
So, is the angle theta equal to uh, 90 degree? Because you say plane is perpendicular to the field. So, it's perpendicular. Perpendicular, so the theta is 90. Is that correct? No. Ah. The angle theta, the angle theta here, okay, angle theta is not angle between the plane and magnetic field. It's not this angle. It's not, it's not a uh, plane and magnetic field. Uh, and this is the theta wrong. Uh, it's not this angle. It's not between, it's not between, don't see the plane. Uh, don't see the plane. Okay? Angle theta, angle theta is angle between normal to the plane. Okay? It's angle between normal and magnetic field. So, first of all, if you have the plane, Please draw a normal to the plane first. The normal to the plane. So this is the normal. You see the, the dotted line? This is the normal to the plane. Uh, so the normal line is actually direction of the area. Direction of the plane. Yeah? Direction of the plane is not the plane itself. But it is the normal line to the plane. Uh, the normal line to the plane is the direction of the area. Okay, direction of the area of vector A. Okay? So, angle theta is angle between the normal and the magnetic field. Uh, so, angle theta is between the angle between the normal and magnetic field. So, it seems that they are parallel. This normal and magnetic field, they are parallel. So, that's why angle theta is zero. Uh, so, for the first case, uh, uh, theta is zero. So, it's sine zero. So, what do you get for sine 0? Sine 0 is 0, isn't it? Uh, sine 0 is 0. Uh, so, uh, what's the... Uh, sine 0 is 0, so you get 0 torque. Okay, what's the unit torque? Uh, we learned before in semester 1, uh, torque is actually R cross F, isn't it? Uh, or F R sine theta. Uh, so, from here, we can get the unit the unit for torque is actually Newton. Force is Newton. R is the meter. Uh, meter. Uh, so torque, this is the unit. Newton meter. Newton meter. Okay? Uh, so the answer, this is zero Newton meter. Uh, zero Newton meter. That's, that's it. That's the, that's the answer. Uh, so, uh, that's for question A. How about question B? Question B, he says that the plane now is parallel to the field. Uh, something like this. B, now the plane is parallel to the field. Parallel to the field. So, does it mean that theta is zero? No. Don't look at the plane. Don't look at the plane. Look at the normal. Normal to the plane. Normal to the plane. This is the direction of the area. So, angle theta is... The angle theta is between the normal and the magnetic field. Okay? Angle theta is angle between the normal and the magnetic field. So, it is uh, 90 degree. Okay? It is uh, normal and magnetic field is 90 degree. Theta equal to 90. Uh, okay? 90 degree. So, uh, let's uh, calculate. Okay? Sine 90 is equal to 1. Uh, sine 90 equal to 1. Uh, it's maximum, understand? Uh, sine 90 is equal to 1, which is maximum. So, magnetic field just now, I got is uh, 1 Tesla. So, let's substitute all inside. 1 Tesla, current is 5 Ampere. 20 turns, area I got just now 2.4, exponent negative 3. Uh, multiply 1, yeah, multiply 1. So, what's the answer? I got the top. I got a torque 0 0.24 uh, Newton meter. Uh, that's the torque. In fact, this is the. Uh, so from here, actually, we can see uh, if plane is uh, perpendicular to the field, uh, you get the minimum torque. Because why? Because it's sine 0. Uh, but if sine 90, sine 90, this one is actually the maximum. Yeah, the maximum or it is uh, equal to B I N B 
DINA itself. Okay? Maximum. Sine 0 is minimum. Sine 90 is maximum. Okay? BINA itself. Okay. So now he says the plane is 60 degree to the field. So is it mean that theta is 60? Is it mean theta is 60? Uh, of course not. Okay, let's let's draw out. Uh, this is the field, horizontal field. This is the plane. This plane now is 60 degree to the field. Okay, plane is 60 degree to the field. So is this mean this 60 degree is the theta already? No, don't straight away substitute. Yeah. Don't look at the plane. Don't look at the plane. Look at the normal. Uh, between the theta is the angle between the normal and magnetic field. Uh, theta is angle between, not between the plane and magnetic field. Not the 60. Uh, angle theta is angle between the normal and magnetic field. The normal is the direction of the area. Okay? So we know that the normal is 90 degree to the plane, isn't it? 90 degree to the plane. So to get the theta is uh it is uh, uh 90 minus the 60 uh, that you get the 30 okay you get the 30 so um let's substitute okay just now already got the b i n a uh because sine 90 equal to 1 so this is b i n a so i no need to calculate again i just use back the 0 0.24 okay 0 0.24 Multiply by sine 30. Uh, sine 30 actually is actually, I also know sine 30. Sine 30 actually is half. Half. Okay. Value is half. So the answer is 0 0.12 uh, Newton meter. Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's the talk. So be careful with the angle, yeah? Be careful with the angle. The angle, all, the, all this angle is we comparing between the normal between the normal and magnetic field not the plane with magnetic field okay the angle theta must be between the normal the normal and magnetic field that's it for this uh, part okay see you in the next videos